All right, well, we got two stories down, just one more to go. We're starting a new game, and we're gonna start Aqua's story. Obviously, we're playing on critical mode. Yes, I want to play. Why would I not want to play? Would you like to skip the introduction? Why, yes, I would. I would love that very much. No point in watching it more than once, because it doesn't change depending on which character you do. And here we are again for the third time. Who will you play as? In this game, yeah. Terra and Ventus, we are complete. Now we have only have Aqua left, a kind young woman whose sense of right and wrong never wavers. She is nimble and a gifted mage. Let's play as Aqua. I can't wait. She's my favorite character to play as. And once again, it starts out the same as in the other stories. Mark of Mastery exam. I remember you, kid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I hate this guy. Oh, wait. Dad's about to talk. Better stand to attention. You know it, Ventus. Hmm. <laughs> nice, nice mustache, bro. You're still Today stupid, you will though. Be examined for the mark of mastery. Not one, but two of the Keyblades chosen stand here as candidates. But this is neither a competition nor a battle for supremacy. Terra's like, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. But a test of heart. Both of you may prevail, or neither. But I am sure our guest. Master Sayanot did not travel all this way to see our young. He's such an honored guest, even though I know he was trying to end the world. I but he apologized, so it's okay. Yes. Then let the examination begin. I will create balls of light. It's the perfect exam. Sonicadoola, Magicaboola, Bibbidi Boppity Boo. What? Oh, how did that happen? <laughs> I just can't believe it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Even if this is the third time I've seen it, and yet it's still just as hilarious as before. <laughs> Don't worry about me. You two focus on the exam. But Ven, you're in danger here. Go wait in your room. No way. I've been looking forward to this. Seeing you two become masters. I'm not gonna miss it now. He can take care of himself. He's been out there training just as hard as us. Yeah. Stay sharp, then. All right, now we actually get to the combat. I hinted at it in Ventus's story, but uh, Aqua sucks at the beginning of the campaign, especially on critical mode, because you're gonna and you're gonna see why. So she moves around just fine. She has a nice little cartwheel. It's basically Ven's dodge roll. Problem is, well, as you can see, Aqua's strength is um lacking, and her combos aren't very good. So, it's, it's a little bit rough. As you can see, she's just whiffing everything. She's got some magic, but it's not amazing at the beginning. She does have a great default finish command, where she just, like, makes a shockwave around her. But as you can see, I'm kind of getting my butt kicked by the light orbs. I'm taking a lot of damage from them. There we go. Oh, also, Aqua's default shot lock sucks. Bubble Blaster. She just shoots globs of water at the guys. Now, admittedly, I don't have a headset connected, bro. What the heck? Admittedly, I know that she's Aqua. Her name is Aqua, so water makes sense, but still. But there we go. We defeated them barely. We get more maximum HP, and we learn the Spell Weaver command style, which is Aqua's kind of default command style for this game. Did you know about command styles, even though it's the third time played? That was unexpected. <laughs> even though it's the third but time it's happened. keep a still heart even in the most trying of circumstances. It was an excellent test. One I chose to let unfold. Let's not even question which how that happened. Us to your next trial. Now, Terra and Aqua, the two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is... I, I don't think we're equal powers right now. Terra, I think, starts the game much better than Aqua. But Aqua finishes way better than Terra.
<laughs> this is the happiest I've been since Christmas 1931. Man, those were the we days. We have deliberated and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both performed commendably. However, only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. How can this be? Terra, you fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. But there is always next time. <laughs> Xehanort's like, I agree. Darkness sucks. Aqua, <laughs> By the way, have you seen my new purple car? Entitled to I love it. Knowledge. Please wait here for further I'll just walk away nonchalantly and absolutely nobody will suspect anything. Hey. Tara, I'm sorry. The darkness. Where did it come from? I love how we get to see the Narmius line three times. Wait, Xehanort already walked off, then he walked back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I just realized this. I'm the third time I finally realized this. Xehanort had already walked off, but then he walked back just so he could walk in a different... He said, like, whoops, this is not the way to my purple car. Hang on. I'm so old, I forget where things are. What do you make of Ventus? He ain't gonna cut it. So now this conversation makes a bit more sense. Somebody's gotta break that loser. Where they're like, Ventus is still too weak to forge the key, the Kai Blade. I have to keep up appearances. I know that. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. <laughs> That's a good idea. A hero. <laughs> I bet you've never been in a purple Subaru before. It's amazing. <laughs> You'll love it, Vanitas. Here we go. And in so much as you are now Keyblade Master, you must always be conscious of. <laughs> what is that? You must always be conscious of Whatever. something. I don't know. Why isn't Ven here? Oh, some creepy yeah. guy in a mask was talking to him in his room. Oh, okay. Send my pupils to that makes sense. I love how we get, like, literally... No yes. information in Aqua's story I at the understand. beginning. It's like when you play when you when you play Terra's story, you get the creepy conversation with Xehanort. When you play as Ventus, you get the creepy conversation with Venetus. And when you play as Aqua, you get to hear <laughs> Erica say part of a sentence and then be like, huh? Well, and that's literally it. <laughs> Seems balanced. That was my dear old friend Yen Sid. Uh-huh. As you know, he is master no more. No. But he still keeps a close eye on the tides of light and darkness. His counsel serves as signposts on the road we wielders of the Keyblade must walk. All the more reason then for concern, for he tells me the princesses of heart are in danger. Not only from the forces of darkness, as you may assume, but also from a new threat, one that feeds on negativity. Fledgling emotions that have taken monster form. Yen Sid calls them the Unversed. As wielders of the Keyblade, you are tasked with striking down any who would upset the balance of light and darkness. <laughs> I love how, like, both Ericus and Xehanort talk about the balance of light and darkness, but Ericus is like, only light, darkness sucks, and Zid Xehanort's like, darkness is cool, light sucks. It's like, you guys both suck at getting the balance right. The unversed are no exception. I tried to pass this news on to Master Xehanort, but my repeated attempts to reach him have failed. I doubt there is any connection. Anymore. Are you serious, bro? You know Xehanort's trying to destroy the world, but you're just like, this is a complete coincidence. <laughs> Terrace, you saw him 20 seconds ago. So here we are. Yeah, but he drove off in his purple Subaru with some creepy kid in a mask. <laughs> I couldn't catch him. Eliminate the unversed. And find Master Xehanort. I have unlocked the if I ever get a purple Subaru, I will name it Xehanort. You may use these Super promise. Pathways to travel between this world and countless others. The darkness looms closer than usual within these spaces, but your armor will protect you. Last night, remember that order must be kept. You cannot tell anyone there are other worlds. Oh man! Now go. Terra, if you start TikToking your journeys again. <laughs> Terra, consider this an opportunity 
A second chance for you to change my mind. What? You must know. I care for you like my own son. If I could have my way, I would name you master in a second. But how can I? When you are so obsessed with power. You say that look, it's a bad thing. Terra, I want to be the highest level out of all of three of us. I think Terra's actually going to end up as the lowest level of all three of us. An obsession beckons the darkness. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Forget. Hate leads to the dark side. Thank you, Master. I'm going to ignore everything you just said, Master. I will not fail you again. But I will. See ya. You didn't Master, say goodbye to me. I best be on my way. Wait, Aqua. Before you depart, I have one other, well, call it a request of the utmost priority. Well, here's yes. Aqua's theme. I told Terra this could be a second chance to show the mark of mastery, and I meant it. However, that flicker of darkness he displayed during the examination, I can sense it runs very deep. If he were to... If those powers were to prove too much for him to handle, I want you to bring him back to me at once. It's for his own good. I could not bear to lose any of you to the darkness. Of course. I would never let that happen. I promise you I will bring Terra back. Only this time, you'll see he has what it takes to be a master. That part was poignant, but... He's not as weak as you think. Well, he's not weak. <laughs> he's too strong, that's the problem. Now we get to watch all of them leave. Hi, I'm Terra. I have cool armor, a powerful keyblade, and I ride a speeder bike. It's pretty cool. <laughs> also, I promise I won't fall to the darkness like I did last time, except I will. And I want to be on the next America's Got Talent. Hi, I'm Ven. I like wind. And I ride a hoverboard. No, he mustn't. I want to be on the next America's Got Talent. You have to bring him back. Don't worry, Master. Hi, I'm Aqua. I may look petite, but I also have armor. And with the power of my Keyblade, I mean, like. One of those toddler playpen things. I ride a bicycle. We fortune a D-Link with Ventus. Yay, D-Links are back. And we get the Ventus D-Link back. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. And we forge a D-Link with Terra. Uh, whatever. Ventus' D-Link is way better, though. And we unlock the command board for the Land of Departure. That's a fun one. So, yep. Terra starts in the Enchanted Dominion. Ventus starts in the Dwarf Woodlands. And Aqua starts in the Castle of Dreams. And this is where we're going to see that the timeline of this game makes absolutely no sense. So Castle Dreams, combat level one, here we go. And you're about to see why. Here we go, Castle of Dreams. So we start here in the palace. We did not get an invite to the ball, but we crashed anyways. She's like, wow, I, I've always wanted to go to prom. Mademoiselle, senorita, wait. Aqua. So there's Terra. Terra. So remember. <laughs> Terra, then ran away from home. What? I think he left to go find you. 
Okay, so you remember how at the end of Terra's first Trio of Worlds, so we did Castle of Dreams last, and the reason we did is because that's the only way the timeline kind of makes sense with how it lines up with Venn's. So Terra's at this point done with his first Free Worlds. We left maybe 30 seconds after Terra, and yet so much time has passed for Terra and no time has passed for us. Doesn't make sense, but you just got to accept it. Do you have any idea why? No, I don't, no. Aqua. Actually, just before I left, he tried to tell me something. I should have listened to what he had to say. Oh, well. So, did you manage to locate Master Zaynort? Aqua, that was 30 seconds ago. No, but it seems he's looking for pure hearts filled with light. Pure hearts filled with light? No nefarious All I can purposes. Tell you is that his search hasn't taken him here. I hated Cinderella. Terrible movie. I'll stay and see if I can find more clues. Not enough darkness. Okay. The prince is in the ballroom ahead. He might have some answers. Thanks. Aqua. Oh, oh wait, no. This is the Narmius doing that one. You still have the same dream? Well, yes. There's this girl here. Her name is Cinderella. She made me realize how powerful it is just to believe. No matter how impossible things seem, uh. a powerful enough dream will always be enough to light the darkness. Okay, it's one thing to be a bit cheesy. That's just very cringy. <laughs> Aqua, this girl named Cinderella taught me the power of believing. <laughs> like, it's, I can't take it seriously. <laughs> if you see her, give her my thanks. Will do. Anyways, I did my worlds way faster than you right. did. You won't give in to it. How? Okay, seriously, we all left at like the same time. Like, okay, Terra left first. 15 seconds later, Ven left. 15 seconds later, Aqua left. We basically all left at the same time. When Ven got to his first world, Terra had already beaten his first world. When Aqua gets to her first world, Terra's already beaten three of all three of his worlds, and Ven has beaten two of his, and is probably heading to Enchanted Dominion right now. I don't under Aqua, seriously, what kind of a detour did you make? Well, I mean, I had to stop at the, <laughs> the newest Raising Canes. They just opened, and there was a huge line. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Oh, it's done, your commands! You you already know these, uh, these, uh, yeah, you, you know this, right? Yes, I, I do. Hey, you can meld commands. I know that. I know that. Oh, I forgot we can have three different decks equipped. Never have bothered with that. Finish commands! Yes, I know how this works. But I want to rename my first finish. This is not just finish. Since Aqua is a mage, I figure we will go with ma more magic name base names. So our first to finish is Expelliarmus. <laughs> we'll probably be going with a Harry Potter theme for this one. If you don't like it. Too bad! Our main Keyblade is Rainfell, the Keyblade you started with. What it lacks in reach, it makes up for of a balanced boost in strength and magic. Two strength, two magic. Not anything really special. Abilities! You know about them. Yes, I do. We have Scan and Zero EXP. We're not using D Zero EXP. Whatever. We got the Ventus and uh, Terra D-Links. Cool. Yeah, I know we got her. That. Spellweaver. So Spellweaver is Aqua's main command style. Activates when you use differing types of magic. Mainly non-elemental magic, but because it's our only command style, we can use things like Fire, Blizzard, and Lightning in order to also get access to that. Anyway, yeah, here we go. It's Aqua. Aqua's also nice because unlike just... Unlike Terra and Ventus, instead of having block, she has barrier, which means that her block covers every single direction. The difference is that her block leaves are slightly more open afterwards because it has more end lag. I do love uh, Aqua's cartwheel though, it's very good. Here we go, we get Barrier Surge, that's an Aqua exclusive command. Terra said to speak to the Prince of the Ballroom, that's right, Terra has access to a part of the Ballroom that Aqua does not. Yeah, so Barrier Surge is Aqua's ba version basically of Fire Surge and Thunder Surge, although she still has those. Cloak yourself in a barrier and rush the enemy. It's not as good as Fire Surge or uh, Thunder Surge, obviously, but it's still good, and we're definitely still gonna equip it. And yeah, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be cartwheeling around everywhere with Aqua. Fleeting Crystal, that's great to get early on, because our commands are slow. 
Yeah, the, uh, the main problem is Aqua's stats are just so bad at the beginning, but she gets insanely good when you level her up. And we get a potion! That's actually gonna be nice to have. Because, funnily enough, despite being the mage, Aqua learns Cure later than the other characters, because Aqua can't D-Link herself. And D-Link in Aqua is usually the quickest way that you get access to Cure. And we just got the Thunderstorm <laughs> uh, sh shot lock. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey. Hey, girls. Are they the only people at the ball? At all? Aqua's like, I can sense they're evil. Oh, if I recall correctly, that is Lady Tremaine, and those are her daughters. There was something very wrong about them. Aqua just has a sixth sense. Back. I can huh? sense darkness. Oh, my apologies. I was mistaken. <laughs> Your Highness, I found this on the palace stairs. A glass slipper. One dropped by a lovely young lady, and I'll search far and wide to find the maiden to whom this belongs. That's mine. <laughs> Of course, Your Highness. After all, you finally found someone whom you wish to marry. Upon hearing that happy news, your father, the king, has decreed that a quest shall begin immediately throughout the kingdom. Rub, 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 rub. The closest residence, that of Lady Tremaine. That's the closest residence? You have to go through a forest to reach her place. Lady Tremaine. I'd better pay her a visit. Hang on, we gotta talk to the prince first. Oh, hey, we just get a map from the prince. We don't have to open up a treasure chest for it. Well, ain't that ain't that just super fancy? All right. Well, wow, the prince just ditched us. He's just like, you're not Cinderella. I don't even want to talk to you, peon. All right. Let's see if I help you, prince. All right, let's D-Link Ventus because I want to get the Ventus D-Link upgraded as soon as possible because it's still good with Aqua. Because of Aqua's low strength, it's nowhere near as good as it is for Terra, but it's still going to be very much worthwhile. Unfortunately, due to uh, these enemies not dropping us delinking prizes, we gotta hope we get lucky on one of these. Oh, good. I guess they do drop dealing in prizes a bit. Oh boy, the shoes! Oh shoot, I need to reconfigure my command menu. It's gonna drive me nuts because it's going backwards. That didn't even kill. That was a quick blitz, too. Like I said, Aqua's very, very, very weak to begin with. But she gets a lot better. But yeah, playing on Aqua's story at the beginning is kind of like playing on hard mode. And we're playing already on hard mode, so... Two times hard mode! <laughs> no! I want the dealing flowers, please! Rats couldn't hit both. Wow, that dealt like no damage. Oh, you dumb butt. Alright. Forget it. More enemies down here. Glad to see Arrow is such a good ability. <laughs> yeah. Oh shoot, our dealing gauge is plummeting. It drops more so it drops more quickly the longer you stay dealing, so. That's barrier surge. Oh man, the shoes are obnoxious. Expelliarmus! No, he was invincible. Take that. Oh boy, we get bind. Like the worst command in the game. You got the crown sticker. I mean, I'm gonna equip it because I have room for it. 
because I am playing on critical mode, so we have five command slots instead of just three. Whatever. Oh, man. Come on, Ven, give me your power. And please level up. No. Ugh. I wrote no, I need, I need to change the freaking command deck uh, ordering. Who dared to do that? Oh boy, fat guy. You gotta make sure that you guard his attacks, because fat guys, I think, can kill Aqua in like two hits. Not hyperbole, either. Come on, can you drop a dealing flower? I'm not asking for much. I literally just want one. No, you but I want flowers. I'm a pretty girl. That is not flowers. Okay, and we died. You know what? This gives us a second chance to get the dealing flowers. But first... Command deck flipped. It shouldn't be flipped. That should be just the normal command deck because you push up to go up and down to go down instead of vice versa. That literally pushing up to go down, that is the definition of flip. But in this, they're like, no, that's normal. There we go. Dealing flower. Yes. This will make things a lot easier. Honestly, the finish command is now messing me up. Because it's interrupting my mojo. So there we go. With just, with just one little dealing flower upgrade. We are now a star. Let's move past the other fat guy. We'll just keep going, nothing to see here. Oh look, fat guy. <laughs> Yay. There you go. Use bind so he can't move. Wow. Aqua's finisher does not do that much damage. Oh, here's the Spellweaver command style. It's not very good. At least to begin with. Like, your, your combo... <laughs> the hits in your combos are really, really slow. But the finisher is really good. I... It's so slow, I can't even do... Guard in the middle of it. For the finisher, we do like kind of this ballet spin around, and it hits a bunch enemies a bunch of times. It's a cool looking command style. It's just not very good. It's all it's all style and no substance. That's the problem. A high potion. Well, how wonderful! Thankfully, there's a save point where we can refill our health here. 
slow. Are you calling me slow? How dare you. Oh, wow, we can't even jump up to reach that. You need high jump. You're just taunting me now. There are a bunch of enemies in this room, but we're just going to ignore them all for now. We, we want to open up all the chests to get as much stuff as possible. Also, Aqua's story throws a bunch of fat guys out really quickly. I call them fat guys. They're bruisers, I know. Expelliarmus! Yay, our magic increased. And that is literally it. <laughs> so, I can feel the difference. Here we go. Spell Weaver! It always hits up them a lot of times. Okay, here we go. Let's deal with Ventus again. Let's see if we can get the second level up. Like I said, because of how weak. Aqua is, you gotta get every advantage you can get as early as possible, so getting the Ventus D-Link to max level as soon as possible is uh, a high priority, especially for Aqua. For Terra, as long as you get the level 1 one, that's fine, but for Aqua, if you get level 2 Ventus, not only do we get to attack fast, we also get a powerful finisher, and we finally actually get Cure. We knocked him out of his invincibility. Cool. <sighs> you ruin all the fun. This is where Aqua's barrier really comes in handy against the Bruisers, though. Because when we're dealing with scrappers at the same time... Uh-oh. <laughs> Oftentimes you can block and it'll be block the scrapper. Okay, oh, you got hit by the bruise. Yes, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. Kira. And Blitz. But again, Aqua's very low physical strength stat means Blitz is not very good. That's okay, now we get Air Dive. I feel like Air Dive is a better version of Ventus's final finisher. Like, Ventus's final finisher didn't get to dive on them as many times. It's probably more powerful, but that also might just be because Ventus was, like, level 45 at the end. Yeah, yeah. I actually want to preserve my D-Link. Because we, uh, we're definitely going to want to be able to D-Link for the boss fight. I'm not saying the boss fight is, like, right here or anything, but... It's coming up faster than you might think. Boy, bunnies in the first world as well. I like how the spell weaver finisher hits over a big area. Uh oh. Don't you want to deal with Terra? <laughs> no, actually, I don't. I want to just use the hasted physical attacks and keep using the finisher. 
The finisher still deals, deals a lot of damage, even with the low strength. Yeah, like, how else would you deal with this amount, massive amount of enemies outside of the vent is dealing? <laughs> like, how? There's too many of them, Master Skywalker. But yay, more defense! Not that that really does a whole lot on critical mode. Once you get second chance once more, defense doesn't really matter a whole lot. How are there still more enemies? <laughs> Let's revert. There we go. Okay, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I'm not fighting more. This is not happening. Oh boy! You tried to trap me. With Bind, they can't really move. But it's not like it prevents them from doing anything. So. Whatever. Alright, here we go. Oh, yay! Lady Tremaine has the shop outside her house. This is good. Oh, we are literally missing one money. Okay. Well, out of all of these, like a sliding natch will be good down the line, but we're gonna go double blizzard here. Actually, what can we sell? I don't actually want to sell the potions right away. I really don't. Here we go. We'll equip double blizzard. Bind sucks. We'll replace that with slow. I mean, slow is also bad, but it's less bad. I actually... I want to get one extra money. So I'll kill like one. Oh, I'll kill this guy again. Here we go. This guy at least gives us some money whenever we kill him. And again, Aqua's magic stat is very good. You can see those sl uh, blizzards were definitely doing more damage than they would for Ventus or Terra. But like, oh my gosh, Aqua's physical attack is so bad. It's always hard starting out Aqua's story again, but again, wait, people. She will get insanely good. Oh shoot, Thunder is a more, bit more expensive. We're getting another Blizzard. Much like how Ventus really benefits from leveling up a bunch, um, getting fire boosts, Aqua is going to benefit from getting Blizzard boosts because Aqua's default shot lock, you guessed it, it is ice based. Even though Bubble Blaster is a water based shot lock, it deals ice based damage. So. So yeah. Okay. Here we go. This part's great. We're going to the Tremaine's house. You honor our humble home, my lord. <coughs> Quite so. May I present my daughters, Brizella and Anastasia? As I feared, there is darkness here. Dangerous to fight the darkness with light, my dear. <gasps> Aqua was like Lady and Tremaine and her daughters are terrible. They have darkness in them. Takes out her keyblade, was gonna beat them up. <laughs> who are you? Cinderella's fairy godmother. I appear to those who believe the dreams come true. Then I'm honored. But why would you advise me not to fight darkness with light? Strong rays of sun create dark shadows. Sadly. Lady Tremaine and both her daughters are jealous of Cinderella's charm and beauty. Qualities that appear to you as light. Jealousy is darkness. Light and dark go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. Also, if we had, also their hearts are pure darkness. So if we actually fought them now, then the Kai Blade would get forged. Maybe. Then 
What should I do? It's quite simple, dear. One of Cinderella's friends is trying very hard to keep her light from fading. I want you to join little Jacques and help him. I can do that. You'll need a bit of my magic to help, Jacques. Come, come back and see me when you're ready. Okay. Yeah, so uh, Aqua gets to not only explore like the outside and the palace, but also will get to go in the house too. But before we do that, Folks, I actually think as Aqua, it is worth playing the command board at least once in the first world. Just to get a little bit of help. Also, I'm going to eventually be playing this in the Mirage Arena. And for some reason, if you play command board in the Mirage Arena, it will not save your options. You have to play it outside of it in order to save it. So, for example, the very first thing you want to do whenever you go to command board is go to options and set things to fast. So, if I do that here, it'll remember it. If I do it in the Mirage Arena, it won't. So I'll have to just keep setting it to fast every single time. Oh, okay, anyways. My primary my uh, primary goal here, I want to get as many bonus panels as possible. So, that's Poison Edge. If I could get Ragnarok and or Magnet. Magnet would be great to get early on. Rats, I didn't. Oh wait, no, no, this is perfect. I go this way. I get Keyblade Glider. Oh, yes. I, I know, okay. Obviously, Ragnarok is a better choice in the long run because you can only get it here, but no way. Getting Magnet early as Aqua is incredibly good because Magnet is such a stupidly good ability. Yes, I would love to buy a free Magnet. And hey, if I can also get Ragnarok, Ready? then that's just dandy. But I already have two shot locks that are both low level. Ragnarok really isn't going to help me. Magnet will. Nice! Nice! Alright. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I learned how to play this with Cinderella. She taught me that a dream is a wish your heart makes. I get a free. I'm going to move this way. Your command deck. Yes, I know. I would love to place a command and down. Let's level up Bubble Blaster. That's the way. Our, our default shot lock needs some help <laughs> leveling up for sure. Ventus, you get Poison Edge. Thank you. That's fine. That command sucks for Aqua anyways. And <laughs> he gets Total Domination. I hope I get another free. So that way I get Keyblade Glider again. Well, nice. not quite, but we can work with this. Okay, I don't want to pay Ventus a bunch of money, so I guess we're heading this way first. This also means we get the prize from the prize cube. No! Oh, Ventus, you little butt. He did that on purpose. I'll make you pay for that, Ventus. I will. You are going down. Oh, I guess Terra gets the Ragnarok. Guess I'm not getting it. Alright. I am going to make sure that I get enough. So, we are going to use Thunder. Because that's already a high enough level that it can be melded. When we get another Thunder. If I get a 2. Good. Take that. That also means I get my money back and Ven's money. Nice. Nice. Ooh, another bonus panel. Okay. I can either get Arrow or Confuse. I mean, both stink. I'm gonna go get Confuse just cause, not because I want Confuse over Arrow, but just because going this way means I can potentially land on the Keyblade Glider and bypass Ventus's Monopoly. Yeah. It's all about playing smart. <gasps> Oh, if I can if I can take over his panel, I am going to. If I okay, change of plans. If I get Keyblade Glider, I'm gonna buy him there out for go. his cure. Absolutely, I am. Oh man, if I get a free, that's exactly what I'm doing. Six again. Well, this way I get another opportunity to land on the Keyblade Glider. Oh, Ven gets the Keyblade Glider, though. That's fine. I already got Magnet, and I'm going to level up my Bubble Blaster. I'm, I'm okay with this. 
<laughs> this is already worthwhile. Like I said, Command Board? Command Board is actually really, really, really good if you do it early on. Later on in the game, the bonus panels really aren't that great. But at the very beginning, when you're super weak, oh man, bonus panels are so nice. All right! <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's a pretty scary panel. Well, that's not good. This means that Ventus is gonna move the prize block out. Maybe. Actually, maybe not. Check this out. All right, Ven plays Joker's Fortune. What's he gonna get? He's gonna get two dice. All right. Good for you, Ven. Is he gonna buy me out of my Confuse? He is! Which means I don't think I actually get to keep the Confuse now. Oh no, that makes it harder for me to buy him out of his cure. That's okay, I got $2,000 to my name. I think that should be enough. I could go for a two. Nice. Actually, that also is great. I'll catch up. Please let me buy him out. Oh, yes. Oh, heck yes, I'm getting a free cure. I know it's not free, but... Nice. Okay, Ventus stole my Confuse and I stole his cure. That's a good trade. Oh, hey! I also get Arrow! Nice. This is great! I'm getting a bunch of free commands! I love this! Oh. Terra's gonna use the Keyblade Glider to move one square forwards, isn't he? Yes, he is! I'm so good! I know how to use Keyblade Glider properly! There we go. Although, admittedly, that's probably what I would have done as well. That's not good. Nice. Just landed on Ven's really expensive panel. Oh no. oh no. I'm still in the lead, but for how long? Oh, that's okay. Ven landed on my expensive panel, so it evens out. Oh. No! I am going to put a bunch of money in my cure panel. Not only will this help level it up immediately, but it also means that Terra and Ventus aren't going to be able to buy it out. I do not want that to happen. <laughs> Guys, I'm intentionally flying to this panel of Ventuses. I'm gonna pay him money, and I'm gonna buy him out, because it's a magnet. That's I'm getting two magnets from one game of the command board. Yeah, that puts me in the last place. I don't care about winning. Because even if I don't win the match, I'm still gonna get to keep the magnet. <laughs> That's a much better victory. start leveling up our cartwheel. Cartwheel is a very important action command to level up. Once it's max level, it's completely nuts. Yeah. Like, you know how good Ventus's dodge roll was at max level? Car Aqua's cartwheel is even better. 
No! Good! I'm like, if he buys out my magnet, I'm gonna be annoyed. <laughs> Keyboard glider! Oh man. Should I try to buy someone else out? Buy I don't really want Confuse. I'm not paying that much for sliding dash. Quick Blitz, no thanks. Okay, no, no, nothing else is worth it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do exactly what Terra did. <laughs> I'm so good! <laughs> Look, I know how to use the Keyblade Glider. That's the way. <laughs> oh, yes, I can level. Oh, yes, Bubble Blaster. I'm gonna put a bunch into that. Terra's in like dead last, like, all right, I'm doing good. But here's the thing, you're not. I might be able to end it this turn if I get a decent roll. Oh, I got more than a decent roll. Nice. Winner! And I get a bunch of new commands. A bunch. Yes, we get cure, two magnets, and an arrow. The cure gets a level up, the magnet gets a level up, the magnet gets a level up, arrow gets a level up. Bubble Blaster got two level ups, cartwheel barely got anything. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, it's gonna change some things. Uh, yeah, we're immediately going to equip uh, the magnet, and the cure, and the second magnet. <laughs> yes, we are. And okay, we'll equip one of the blizzards. We don't need barrier surge. It's actually not that good at this point anyways. So yeah. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> a dream is a wish your heart makes. Make sure we grab this big boy treasure chest too. Because this contains a magic recipe. Not that I need it because I know how to make the commands anyways. All right, fairy godmother. I, I, you know, I know I said uh, to come to me when you were ready, but did you have to play a whole board game? Oh, yes. That board game made me strong. Okay. Are you ready, my dear? Yes. Send me in. <laughs> Can I learn that magic spell? No. Darn it. <laughs> Pixie dust. Now Aqua's the size of a mouse. Are you okay? Aqua, just use your <laughs> just use your keyboy to open the cupboard. Okay, he literally said "gutzuck," and they said that was "thank you." That's not how you say "thank you." How does Aqua understand what he's saying? Okay, seriously. Cover the subtitles, listen to what he says, try to guess what he's saying. You won't be able to do it. Where is he now? Look up a friend. I'm a friend. I see. Then, you must have just missed her. I can't understand why. It always fit perfectly before. Quite enough of this. The next young lady, please. Oh no, hear that? Not a flurry. Linda really got to try that flipper. Come on, come on, flurry. No, 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 no. I said not a flurry. It's all right. Leave this to me. Jack, don't lose that key. Why not just have Aqua use her keyboy to open up the lock? I don't get it. Protect Jacques until he reaches the mouse hole. Press square, then X if he needs help. That's okay, we got this. My main goal for this, gotta build my D-Link gauge back up.
Expelliarmus! Okay, he's walking in a new world. Oh yes, Spellweaver finisher plus magnet? Oh yes, please. I'm so glad I got two magnets. Okay, we we really, really need to build our D-Link gauge up. If we don't build our D-Link gauge up here, then I don't think we will have a full D-Link gauge for the boss fight. And that's gonna really, really stink. Okay, good. Oh my god, there's gotta be more. I cannot tell you how important it is for- Okay, cool. There we go. Oh, hey, there are more enemies over here that literally weren't here two seconds ago. Hey, nobody messes with Jacques. Here we go, we made it to the goal, and we learned the Thunderbolt command style for some reason. I won't complain, Aqua learns it way sooner than everybody else. And it's one of the best uh, base level command styles. You're the only ladies here? There's no one else, Your Grace. <laughs> How wrong you are. Come on, hurry, Jack. Uh. So, all right. Ooh, off to the next house in the forest. <laughs> How inconvenient. <laughs> They're like, um, who the heck is this? <laughs> Why are you in our house? Oh, would it, uh, would it be all right if I tried on the glass slipper? Ooh, Aqua, yes. <laughs> Considering how big Kingdom Hearts women's feet are, this is going to be hilarious. Hmm. I met you at the palace. Unfortunately, you are not the young lady the prince is looking for. But I am a girl. I should at least be given a chance to try it on. Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? It's like a fair She's question. Probably here to rob us. <laughs> do something! That girl does not live here. I have only two daughters. I believe I should, I wish should just be what about Cinderella? Regardless, she means no harm. <laughs> the Duke's like, oh, it's okay, she can break into your house. Here you are, my dear. She's like, yes. If it's Aqua. <laughs> that's how Aqua... That's why Aqua's not in the Ever Kingdom Hearts game. She actually gets married to the prince in this. Your Grace, please wait. May I try it on? Pay no attention to her. She's just an imaginative child. Madam, my orders were every maiden... You should let her go first. <laughs> She's like, who the heck are you? Why are you in our house? I don't know you. <laughs> I actually want to thank you for teaching Tara he needs to keep believing. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> her face after. <laughs> what will I do? Please, don't worry. You see, I have the other slipper. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Take that, Lady Tremaine. It doesn't fit. <laughs> Whoops. Yay! <laughs> also, has anyone seen Lucifer? <laughs> He hasn't been around. Oh yeah, Ven killed him. <laughs> he deserved it. Perfect fit. I must inform the prince immediately. You will come with me, of course. I'd be happy to. Doop 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 doop. Not fair. She's a scullery maid. Mother, are you just going to let them leave? No. Cinderella will be put in her place. Ooh. What's that? 
What happened? Where is Cinderella? She, she was attacked by a, a creature, a, a monster in the forest. A monster? Uh oh. Yeah, so this is gonna be boss time. We're gonna need to prep in advance. We are going to be equipping blizzards. <laughs> and lots of them. That's gonna be the way forwards, I, I do believe. Yeah, but there's literally no enemies to fight here. So if you don't have a full dealing gauge, then, um, good luck. <laughs> Please, you must save that girl. Don't let anything happen to her. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's go. Off to the forest. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> this is what happens when you go against my wishes. <laughs> Holy moly! The darkness in their hearts overtook them. So if you were uh, someone who watched Cinderella and it's like, man, Cinderella and his evil stepmother and evil step stepsisters got off easy. Yeah, they literally die in this. They just get incinerated. What the heck? Also, they were even worse in this because they they were the ones who summoned the Unversed, both here and at the ball. They're terrible people. <laughs> Leave Cinderella. Don't look at the burned corpses of your stepfamily. That's really dark, but also kind of awesome. Here we go. Defeat the Unversed. Be ready to block with Square. You're going to need it. So this is the first main boss, the Cursed Coach. So let's start by using some uh, Bubble Blaster. It's level 3, so it should deal a bit more damage. Not much more, though. This is where we're going to be using Ventus. If you've got the maxed out Ventus D-Link, this fight gets a lot easier. Because this Fiend hits hard. And if you've got Ventus' finisher, you can keep basically stun locking it in place. Yeah, it can eat you. And if it does, you got to mash the X button to get out. All right. Here we go. Bye, Cursed Coach. There we go. Max HP increase, and we get the deck clip capacity increase. Yeah, max level Dentist D-Link is the way to take that boss out. Otherwise, you're going to have to be dodging around a lot and just shooting blizzards, basically, from a distance. Hey! Hey! Oh my gosh, she's so dreamy. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. Aw, oh, that's cute though. <laughs> Wait, you didn't tell me you were a scullery maid? It's a long story. That's okay. You're still cute. Aw, <laughs> oh, even the Duke's happy. Aqua's like, I guess a dream is a wish your heart makes. A pure heart filled with light? It's strange. The master taught me darkness needs to be destroyed. But how? If not with light? Oh, my dear. You're too young to know. Experience more things, and you'll find the answer. Just trust in your dreams. That's, um, very generic advice. <laughs> if you keep on believing. We forge a D-Link with Cinderella because we saved her life. And we get the Stroke of Midnight Keyblade. Makes it easier to land critical hits. We only explore that one tiny part of the inside of the Chateau and we can never go back again. And we get the command board for Castle of Dreams, we unlock the Dwarf Woodlands, and the Enchanted Dominion, and the Mirage Arena. Now that's just wonderful. Can we go back to the Land of Departure as well? 
we can, we're heading back here, so that way we can open up the chests. Also, we are actually going to equip the Stroke of Midnight. It's the only- Aqua's the only character where the Stroke of Midnight Keyblade is actually worthwhile. It has the same exact stats as her normal Keyblade, but at least it has slightly more frequent critical hits. Man, what a bad Keyblade, but we're still going to use it. The mountain. Ah, there are just a couple chests here. We didn't have to go back here as Ventus, because he was the one who opened up the chests in the uh, introduction. But apparently, the treasure chest gremlin keeps replacing the contents, so that way Terra and Aqua can get them too. Oh boy, another bind! Yay. Actually, I think the forecourt's the only remaining area to go to. And hey, if they're gonna offer free treasure chests, then why would I say no? It's too soon to report back to the master. Master, I learned that a dream is a wish your heart makes. Aqua, what does that even mean? <laughs> uh, you have to be there. Also, Cinderella taught me that you can just believe things and they'll happen. <laughs> Terra, that's completely not true. But Cinderella taught me it. <laughs> well, now you need to be untaught it, because that's just not true. Oh, man. I know that's not what Terra actually sounds like, but it, it captures Terra's essence. Oh, I just missed the chest over here. Doop, 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 doop. A fleeting cri- oh, that's a good thing we went back for that one. Fleeting crystals are good. I was just making sure to get her daily exercise, just cartwheeling all over the place. Well, there we go. I think that's going to do it for our first episode of Aqua Plays Through Birth by Sleep. Thanks for watching, everybody. So, we've got the Dwarf Woodlands, which is combat level 2, and we've got Enchanted Dominion, which is combat level 3. We'll have to go to those places next time. We also might hit up our Mirage Arena, because once you've cleared the first story, I think you can do Rumble Racing and all of the Command Board stuff right from the beginning. So I actually might do that just next time and get up to a high arena level. I think that would be fine. I'm not touching the actual arena missions until we uh, are higher level and have some halfway decent commands. Otherwise, we're going to get our butt kicked. So, yeah, that's what we'll do next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.